Hello and welcome back. In the short lecture, we're going to learn about uh, why we should learn PowerShell, or I'll put it in, put it as uh, why should I learn? Uh, if I ask myself, I have uh, my own views, but maybe in your case you may have uh, different views. I respect to that, but these these are the just my few of uh, my opinion or my views, uh, which made me to learn PowerShell. So to begin with that, so the simple answer would be it's all about automation. Our environments, our IT specific environments are growing larger and much more complex day by day. And the products are becoming much more complex. And uh, we can't afford to hire humans to around clicking all the buttons that needed to be clicked for configuring some kind of changes to be performed or the tasks that needs to be done by the humans. So instead, what, are, what we're gonna do is we are gonna automate uh, those tasks uh -huh. that's where the PowerShell comes into the picture and I need to be able to automate the scale that entire auto automation uh, with the complex environments I need to be able to manage uh, even a larger scale uh, very quickly and another important aspect of the PowerShell uh, brings to this is that I certainly need to be able to do this uh, as I need to be able to find and remove some of the human errors that occurs uh, like uh, for example if you take an example if I'm running as a disaster recovery situation uh, by working with my workbooks execution or maybe I'm restoring some of the Active Directory user accounts or creating the Active Directory objects or modifying the Active Directory accounts or for that uh, for that matter any of the most complex or most critical things which are need to be performed so what happens if a human does that uh, task and if he does any of the human mistake it's going to affect the entire business instead if you uh, tested and fine-tuned that complete uh, task for the automation with the help of scripts there's no chance of uh, human error so that's where uh, the PowerShell comes into the picture uh, one of the best example I can uh, give you as that but let's have a look on it you know um, what else uh, we can um, put it into the slide format uh, before jumping into the slide format and uh, I wanted to give you what exactly the PowerShell commands so we call the PowerShell commands as a command lit as we pronounce uh, so any of the commands that we use as the command let we call it as in the command lines and coming back to the other uh, why only the PowerShell the PowerShell can interact with the component object model as well as the WMI and uh, this is the management instrumentation which has a full access uh, so that you can query to that specific products and get the info, uh, required information. Similarly, the PowerShell code also can uh, communicate with the by using the WS management and the uh, common information model by enabling the management for the uh, different operating systems, not just for the Microsoft. It can be Linux or Mac or for that matter, it can be any of the Red Hat. So any of the devices also can be uh, communicated. I'm going to talk on that a specific slide we do have what all the products as and data is supported uh, also we're going to talk on that and in fact we're going to try to do uh, some of the lab on that uh, specific uh, Linux or whatever the boxes and if you're uh, going to manage the Microsoft server or the client uh, operating system for that matter even the uh, uh, Azure cloud uh, or any of the cloud products it's a great complement to land PowerShell because the PowerShell is the interface where you can uh, run the uh, code uh, to execute and to automate or the tasks that to be performed manually as explained in the previous uh, example, uh, PowerShell is uh, scalable for any of the corporate IT managers to uh, automate their business critical tasks on every day and also PowerShell commands can be easily learned and it's crucial for the managing entire IT for any kind of you know, business. It can suit for any kind of critical task. This PowerShell uh, scripts can be easily suitable uh, where we can eliminate a lot of human errors. And the PowerShell also intra uh, introduced the a way of interacting uh, with the command prompt by typing uh, different commands so we, which we are going to learn in the upcoming uh, lectures but think that uh, for now PowerShell includes the interactive options so you can play with that interactive options and uh, PowerShell is not going anyway anytime uh, because it's the essential component uh, 
of Microsoft products now in the Microsoft engineering team so the any of the server product that's gonna ship it out uh, uh, you need to work with the PowerShell the reason behind when I say you need to work with the PowerShell because why I'm repeating this sentence is uh, not all the options which are releasing uh, these engineering teams or the product engineering teams in a GUI mode so you need to so you have an option uh, some uh, critical task or some of the tasks can't be uh, performed over the GI you must have to do it uh, with the only PowerShell so the products which are shipping uh, from Microsoft it, in fact it's already started if you are uh, if you are quite new you need to understand that these are the products already shipped any uh, way that you must have to work with the PowerShell otherwise you can't perform some of the critical changes or some of the critical automation or the critical steps can't be performed without the PowerShell so that's how uh, the Microsoft engineering team is already uh, in, uh, included uh, with, by eliminating the GUI or the human mistakes. Um, that's why the uh, that's why very important that uh, we need to learn about uh, PowerShell. That's made me uh, to learn the PowerShell. And one of the uh, other thing would be the 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 command line shell features the PowerShell allows to use it to do work of um, hours of the work in it just a single for example if you want to create a user account um, uh, you might have to create uh, with the PowerShell, uh, PowerShell with a single uh, command like a new AD user uh, with the username that's it it's gonna it's gonna just create the user account of course you can add some more properties definitely but uh, if it if it is the same case and if you're trying to do the creation of the user account with any other script for example a VB script which might end up with uh, definitely uh, 15 to 20 lines of the code but whereas the PowerShell is a single command because uh, these are the uh, things which has already uh, coded and readily available for us uh, with the help of uh, PowerShell commands by these Microsoft engineering teams has already provided for us and uh, these are the you know a few of the uh, my personal views and uh, let's jump into the another lecture